Good day, class. Uh, today we are going to be drawing laboratory plate number six or introduction to 3D or three dimensional. By the way, uh, everything you draw in AutoCAD is basically 3D. You may think it's 2D, it's just, it is 3D with zero thickness. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll be converting our 2D drawings to 3D. Then we will do a little basic navigation on uh, then basic 3D drawing tools and basic 3D editing. Okay, note that you are not required to submit this laboratory plate. Okay, so we are we are starting our drawing with P5 in mind. We have opened P5. We will convert this P5 to three-dimensional. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is we need the toolbars. Okay, we need the toolbars so that we'll be able to use it. So right-click on an empty space on the CAD. We select modeling. This one, modeling. Okay, that's modeling. We put this at the last part. Okay, right click again. We need styles. Styles. Okay. Style is already on. Uh, UCS2. UCS. UCS2. Okay. UCS2. Then we also need view. Okay. So we'll rearrange. I want this to be here. Okay. So these are the tools that I'm going to use. Uh, by the way, we are in a different, we are in construction is still on. Okay, so we'll turn it off. We don't need that. So we'll be using the dimensions here. Okay, so just a review. Our, we can zoom by using the mouse wheel. Zoom in, zoom out. If you, pre if you, Press on the control but uh, mouse wheel button. It's pan. Okay, we can still reuse this in 3D. Okay. Now, now to have this, we can save our. If you want, we can save your your uh, this template at as your 3D classic because by default AutoCAD has only basic draft 3d dra uh, drafting and notation 3d uh, basics 3d modeling i added this okay i added okay this is my workspace okay so if i click on autoclick classic if i click on 3d classic it will look like this i have created it beforehand okay We are now ready to draw our 3D. First thing we do is we click on this. Okay. So SD isometric. This would change the view. Okay. So this one is top. Top view. Bottom. Left. Right. Front. Back. Okay. This would be southwest. Viewed from the southwest, viewed from the southeast, northeast, and northwest. Okay, so uh, my preferred view would be this southeast. Okay, also, if you want to view this at, from the top, on the bottom, okay, from the left. As I've said, AutoCAD is uh, all things you draw in AutoCAD is in three dimensions. It's just have the thickness of zero. So 
we view at the right still I'll not just align on the front it's still just align in the back until you view it from a three-dimensional southwest okay the south is bought down west is on your left side okay now this is the drawing tools this one is poly solid creates a 3d wall like poly solid okay if you if you use that oh the change views first see this you can change that the top so that your poly solid would be top okay by the way if you can also use this okay the ucs you could view at the top front right side okay now you could also use this click on that okay there's also this the pan zoom extents the orbit okay the orbit the orbit can be accessed using the mouse uh, just a reminder zoom in zoom out is mouse wheel okay if you if you press on the mouse wheel you have pan Okay, if you press the shift and the while pressing on the mouse wheel, it's orbit. If you use the control and with the control, that is similar to an orbit. It's more of a pan. Okay, so the control is an orbit. Okay. So if you're not dizzy, I prefer it to be using southwest, southeast view. Okay, so start drawing. We will copy first the top view. The top view is the most important of them all. Okay. The top view. We could delete this if you want to. Or we could just turn it off uh, using this layer. We could just turn it off uh, the dimension. Okay. However, I still need the dimensions here, so uh, just delete. Okay. That's the beauty of uh, having layers is that. You can just turn it off if you want to. Okay. I'll delete this also. I don't need that. Now, the fastest way of doing this is just by pulling it. Okay. So, this is making a box. We are going to make a box like that. Give the height give the height what's the height uh the height is 51 51 we could pull this pull make a box again height is 15 a box height is 30 make a box height is 15 the real problem is we have a wedge there how can we make that wedge you could make that using the press pull okay press pull get visual feedback as you move the cursor after selecting a 2d object so you can just pull this up oops pull this up 
until we reach there. Okay. Now we could we could draw an circle there, an ellipse that is passing through that. Okay, so the diameter a radius is eleven. Okay, so we have a uh, this circle. Be sure to select the right the right face or else your ellipse would be different so radius r for radius is 11 then we punch a hole through we subtract subtract combine selected 2d 3d okay so we have an instruction there we have an instruction it says that for selection one some selection is two and we have hole okay so, so select objects this one and that one then subtract objects subtract this one okay if you look at our drawing it looks like that now we need just to combine all the objects so make it one object because this is a different object a different object a different object so the command is union so select object this 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 and that press enter now it's just one object so to see this from a different view if we look at, at that from the top it would look like this minus the hidden lines to make it look better we can change the visual styles to let's say shades of gray or to visual styles to realistic or visual styles to conceptual i prefer shades of uh, shades of gray okay but you can have this you can choose whatever you want if you look at it from the front, it will look like this, similar to the, the face, the front view. Look at it from the side, look like this, uh, left side, wrong side, right side, there. You have that. Okay. From the top, it looks like that. Isometric, it looks like that some would want to insert their new their drawing their three-dimensional drawing inside the their uh, views okay to do that it's not that simple it's not just you cannot just uh, press top view because it's different you have to copy so you have to copy before we copy we need to have it you type in UCS, UCS, then V for view, then copy, control C, then we go back to top view, then we insert, control V to insert, I click here, now where am I, where's my drawing, there's my drawing, the problem with this is, The problem is with this is it's smaller it's smaller than my drawing let's try and match it it's much much smaller than my drawing so how do you do it basically just the view it if you measure it's 49 this one is 50 no this one is 50 okay so it's not the same so how do you make it the same you scale it you scale 
if you really want to do this you know to scale so how much is the scale first thing you do is you measure you measure you measure this 32.666 and you measure this 40 now you divide 40 divide 32.66 we get 1.2247399397 or 1.22474 okay we'll use that now we scale scale this by 1.22474 okay so now it looks the same and feels the same okay so let's move it first and delete let's delete this Okay, so this one is a 3D. Okay, so if you want, you could save this. You could save this if you want. But I'm not requiring you to, I'm not requiring you to submit this. Save us P five P six save. I'm not requiring you to submit this because I will give you another laboratory. <laughs> 